Watu wakamilifu. They may not. Wenda wasiwe wakamilifu. Listen to your every word. Ama wasisikize cho, kila kitu unachosema. But the word of God says. Lakini neno la Mungu lasema. Train up a child. Mlee mtoto. In the way katika njia that he should go impasayo kuyemenda that when he is older atakapokuwa mzima he will not stray hataweza yeah. kupotoka they're coming back home atarudi nyumbani if you have any children that are out there right now iwapo kuna watoto wote ambao wako kule nje who are not ambao hawako rooted hawaimendi vizuri and grounded ama hawajaweko kwenye msingi in the word of god katika neno la Mungu no worries usiwe na wasiwasi no worries usiwe na shaka god's going to bring them home Mungu atawaleta nyumbani he doesn't want you and i yeye hataki wewe na mimi to get distracted tuweze kupotoshwa mawazo and off his right road na kuenda katika njia kombo cuz you see kwa sababu unaona that's the enemy's plan for you huo ndio mpango wa shetani kwa he wants to distract us anataka asababishe uongo kwa njia yake Have you ever noticed that? Je, umewahi gundua hivyo? We call them PK kids. Tunawaita PK kids. In the United States. Ule Marekani wanaitwa PK. It's called preachers kids. Ati watoto wa wahubiri. Those kids are so bad. Watoto wa wahubiri ni wabaya. She's mean. Yeye ni mchoyo. He's not right. Hatendei vizuri. They are disgusting. Eh, ni watu jambazi. And their father. Na baba yao. Their mother mama yao call themselves anajiita women and men of God mtu mume na mke wa Mungu so i'm going to talk to you today about what's going on in Saturday at the house kwa hivyo nataka kuwaelezea kile kinachoendelea kule for you single mothers kwa wale akina mama ambao hawana mume the word of god neno la Mungu charges you linakuagiza in romans 12:1 and 2 katika warumi 12:1 na 2 And this is not just single mothers. I'm coming to the single men. Na sio tu kwa kina mama ambao hawana waume, na kuja pia kwa waume wasio na wake. And I need for you. Na nitakuhitaji to understand. Uweza kuelewa that when it says ya kwamba wakati naposema in the word of god katika neno la mungu to train up a child ya kwanza ukwamba ukaweze kumlea mtoto in the way that he should go katika njia impasayo kuyenena not just men sio tu wanaume peke yao it's for the ladies too. lakini pia hata akina dada so your little girls need to be trained properly kwa hivyo wasichana wetu wanahitajika mabinti walelewe waelekezwe katika njia iwapasayo So does the young men. Na vile vile pia kwa wale wa vulana. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. As I go there. Romans, Romans 12 and 1. Warumi 12 aya ya kwanza. It says. Yasema. I beseech you. Therefore, thank you. Thank you. I beseech you therefore, brethren. That means I love you. Ya sema basi ndugu zangu na kwamba nawapenda ni nakuambia. You're close to me. Niko karibu nami. And I'm concerned about you. Nami ni nawajali. He says, I, pre- I beseech you. Anasema nawasihi. Therefore brethren, basi ndugu zangu, by the mercies of God, kwa huruma zake Mungu, that you present your bodies. Itoeni mili yenu. A living sacrifice iwe dhabihu iliyo hai holy takatifu acceptable ya, eh, to ya god balika na kumpendeza mungu which is your reasonable service ndio ibada yenu yenye maana i stop right here and say holiness is still right nitasimama hapa na niseme kwamba utakatifu right. bado unahitajika yes. yes. and it is acceptable to god na inakubalika mbele zake mwenyezi mungu it's your reasonable service hiyo ndio ibada yenye kukubalika. Yes. It's almost as if he's saying It's almost as if God is saying Ni kana kwamba Mungu anasema It's what you get to do. Hiyo ndio kile unahitajika ufanye. Because this right. Kwa sababu iko sawa. Verse 2 says Mustari and do wapi. not and do not Inasema wala msifuatishe. Be conformed to this world wala msifuatishe namna ya dunia hii. But be transformed bali mgeuzwe by the renewing of your mind kwa kufanywa upya nia zenu that you may prove mpate kujua 
What is that good? Hakika. And acceptable. Hakika mapenzi ya mungu. And, per and perfect will of God. Ya liomema ya kupendeza na makamilifu. It doesn't mean you're going to get it right all the time. Haimanishi kwamba kila wakati mamba ya kakwasawa. It doesn't mean that as leaders. Haimanishi kwamba kama viongozi. You're not going to have to go back and get recharged. Ya kwamba hauje yajika kila wakati kuondoka kidogo uende ili utiwe nguvu. But God's perfect will Lakini mapenzi makamilifu ya mungu is a maturing in the word of God. 